Hello everyone. Today I want to share a passage from the Bible that has been a source of comfort and been a source of guidance for me in my life um, as I have journeyed through so many different places and different things in my life, transitions mostly. But before we get into this verse, if you are enjoying these short but life-changing daily promises and you've been watching these and you've been sharing them, then please I would like for you to like and subscribe to this channel. This is very important as we try to spread the good news to a world that is so desperately in need of good news. Um, and I, I want to thank you in advance for liking and sharing and subscribing to this channel because it's telling YouTube the algorithm that this is an important program and that they should um, promote it wherever they can. So uh, liking and sharing and subscribing is very important um, to continue these programs. Okay, on to the verse. The verse that I'm talking about is Philippians chapter 4, verse 6, which says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. I'm sure that you've heard this text before, and we often find ourselves in situations that can make us feel anxious and overwhelmed, and we have to call upon this text at these times. Well, the pressures and the fears that these situations and circumstances present can be very paralyzing. And this verse reminds us that we don't have to face these situations alone. In other words, we have a source of strength, we have a source of support that we can go to, and that's namely God. Now, the first part of the verse tells us not to be anxious about anything. You know, anxiety today is the leading cause of many health problems. Health problems such as heart disease, if you have anxiety, it causes digestive failures like ulcers. And in many cases, it's been causing a lot of mental illness. But this verse says not to be anxious about anything. And this can be easier said than done, right? But the key here is to remember that worry and anxiety do not accomplish anything. They only weigh you down and they hinder you from reaching your fullest potential, the potential that God has planned for you. So what do you do? You have to choose. You have to choose to let go of these anxious thoughts and trust in God's plan for you. And that takes time and it takes repetition. You heard the old saying, let go and let God. But it doesn't stop there, right? The verse goes on to say that in every situation, we should pray and present our request to God. This means that we should approach every situation, no matter how big or small, um, any circumstance that we're presented, that we should come to it with a spirit of prayer in prayer. In other words, you can ask God for wisdom, courage, and confidence as you prepare to face your situation or as you begin to face your circumstance. And you can always ask him for peace in your heart, peace in your mind, and trust that God will guide you and give you whatever you need to succeed or deal with the situation that you're about ready to um, deal with. Now there's a final part of that verse and it's equally important and here's what it says. It says, that when you ask, you ask with thanksgiving. You know, even in the midst of your anxieties and uncertainties, you must remember to be grateful, grateful for the opportunities that God gives you, grateful for the answered prayers in your past, but also the future answered prayers, grateful for the growth that God is, is giving you and the potential impact that your experience might or can have on other people. And when you approach your situation with a heart that is filled with gratitude, you are being reminded of a bigger purpose behind your circumstance. In other words, it's not just about you, but it's about growing. It's about being inspired. God is trying to prove that he's there for you. It's there to educate. And it also, in another way, these circumstances are there to motivate others. So you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. When you deal with anxiety, worries, your nerves, your doubts, and they start to creep in, remember Philippians 4, 6, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Until next time, God bless.